Hey guys, it's Jen from I Create Crafts. With Mother's Day quickly approaching, I wanted to create some personalized crafts and show you step by step how to create them. Today I will be showing you how to create these Mother's Day personalized aprons. Such an easy and inexpensive way to show mom you care. Happy Mother's Day! So a really awesome subscriber of mine told me that I should try making a Mother's Day apron and that was an amazing idea. So I went on Amazon and I purchased some aprons and I'm going to show you how to use some files like this one and put it on your apron. So for this one, wife, mom, boss, I actually found this on, on Google and then I cleaned it up in design space. So you can always do that if you find something that's um, not watermarked or anything or have a price on it, you can take it and use it. So that's where I found this one. I also wanted to show you these. These are quite funny if you ask me. So I just bought these off of design bundles like literally a couple minutes ago. That mom, sister, nurse, nana, and etc. So I just bought all of these. But the one that I'm going to use actually is that mom. So I'm going to click on this and I'm going to show you what it looks like. But you get all of these. I think it was $2.75 I paid for them all. And I've seen these before and I really wanted it. I just never had the time to purchase it. So I did. So look at this one. That mom, a mother who isn't perfect, enjoys alcohol, has a sense of humor, and couldn't care less what you think. Also see crazy multitasker. I love, <laughs> I love that. What do you guys think about this? So I'm going to do wife, mom, boss. I have two of them on one. And then that mom on another one. I think that is absolutely hilarious. So are you guys that mom? <laughs> um, I guess I am, except for I don't enjoy alcohol. I'm not a drinker, never have been, and don't really care for it. So other than that, I think that's also me, I guess. I really don't care much about what people think about me. I have four kids. We're crazy. <laughs> so life's short. Got to be fun, right, guys? So to do this one, it's fairly easy. All you got to do is figure out the size. And I figured the size for mine is going to be roughly an 8x8. Eight eight. Um, I'll leave the link for the apron that I purchased if you're in case, in case you're interested in getting that one. This one, I didn't notice, but looking at it, it has two pockets in the front. So it kind of takes away from a little bit of the size. So again, I think I'm going to do roughly 8x8. Eight eight. So this is going to be a very quick video tutorial. So I'm just selecting the first one. I'm going to go up here, click the unlock box and then change it to be an 8x8 and you can always change it to be different it doesn't have to be specifically an 8x8 like if it looks too um, pushed out or anything um, but I just like it the way it is and because I um, actually downloaded it from Google it's all one piece so if you want to change the color like let's say I want to change it to red it's going to change the whole thing to red so you got to watch out for that there is a way to do it you can contour it but I figured you know what I'm just going to leave it all one color so I actually think I'm going to keep it white because my apron is red and I have a lot of white HTV so I'm going to leave it the way it is and then for this one I think I'm not going to stretch it as much I think I might leave it around this size I'm going to stretch it just a little bit more because it is kind of harder to weed littler words out so I think I'm just going to stretch it just a little bit not going too far over the 8x8 eight eight. so I love how this looks and there actually is two parts to this so if you wanted to change the color you could but actually I think I'm going to do the second one black, so I'm going to leave it the way it is, but because there are two parts to it, you have to attach it down here. So I'm going to click the attach button, and then that will cut out one whole piece together. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. I'm going to push the make it button. I always forget to turn on my Cricut machine, so I have to turn it on so you might hear it in the background. So when working with HTV, you always want to mirror your image. So on the first one, I'm going to go over here and click the mirror button, and then I'm going to do the same thing with the second one. So I'm going to click the mirror button because I know I'm going to be working with HTV so you always want to mirror it. So with that being said, I'm going to click continue and then I'll show you which um, material set that I use on these. If you guys watch my channel, you know I absolutely hate Cricut. I'm sorry for those of you who like it. I can't stand it. So I don't use a lot of Cricut unless someone gifts it to me or if it's on a really, really great deal. 
Otherwise, I just get whatever is cheapest on um, Amazon. And I'll leave the link below to what I'm using. Um, I can't remember offhand how much it was, but it's a huge, huge roll. So here it is. These are all of my favorites that I always use. So here it is here. Here it is. Iron on, heat transfer, non-cricket. How perfect for me is that? Non-cricket. So when you are putting this on your mat, please make sure to... Um, put the shiny side down please remember to do that otherwise you're going to go through a lot of vinyl or htv so when you're putting it on your mat always put the shiny side down and then always make sure to mirror it so i've made that mistake way too many times and i've wasted way too much so i don't leave i don't do anything else i just make sure i have a nice um sharp fine point blade in here and then also to mirror it and then also put your HTV shiny side down. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to cut it out. I will weed it out and then I'll meet you at my heat press station. All right guys, so here I have my files cut out. Here's the first one here, which is white. And then here is the black one, which I don't hope you can see. I will show you the roll, what it looks like in just a minute. I want to get this going. So my heat press is set at 270 for 30 seconds. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my apron and set it on here and get it nice and flat so I can get the creases out. So I'm going to use my Teflon and put it on here and I'm going to give it a good press just for a couple seconds so that it gets the wrinkles out and then it also preheats my fabric before I put on the file. Okay, so should be enough time. Get it nice and flat. So the next part I'm going to do is kind of measure and gauge where the middle is, where I want this to go. So I'm going to use the black one first. And I actually bought this, I believe it was from Etsy or Amazon, um, but it's actually for shirts. But if I use the bottom part, it has the numbers on it, so I can kind of gauge and make sure it's it's center and um, directly in the middle. So I'm going to use this as a gauge, and then I can kind of gauge on the side as well, and kind of go and see how far I have on each side, so that it's exactly the same. Okay, so it's perfect. So once you have it where you want it, you want to put your Teflon sheet back over it, and that's just going to protect it. And then you're going to want to press it for 30 seconds or so. If you're using an iron, you want to do the same thing. You just want to push down on your iron really hard. I just actually really love my heat press. It wasn't that much of an investment for this, and I use it all the time. So if you have an opportunity to buy a heat press, I would highly suggest it. Otherwise, you just take an iron and hold it on really tightly. I know other people use the Cricut Easy Press. I had that when that first came out. I hated it. I really don't know what it is with Cricut stuff with me. I'm just gonna lift it up and then I'm gonna carefully peel away the plastic. So just like that. So here is the first one. I'm gonna show you if you can see it here. Here is the first one. I love it and I absolutely love this one. I think I'm gonna save this one for myself. And then we're just going to go and do the next one. So it's the same process. So to make sure you have your front piece in the front with the pockets. And then you just want to give it a good press really quick and get the wrinkles out. So just a little bit of a press to make it nice and smooth. Then I'm going to find the center here. Then I'm going to take my file, and depending on how far you want it up from the neck part or how far you want it down from the pockets, but again, I'm going to take that nifty little thing. I'll leave the link where I bought this. This works really well, but I'm just going to use it and kind of gauge where the middle part is. And then it has a little line going down the middle, so I know where the center should be. And then I can kind of gauge it again on the sides here. Although it's got a curve here, I'm kind of looking at the numbers on the side here. And it's kind of nice because it has it on both sides, so I can take it and gauge it on this side as well. So you kind of can figure out where the middle is. 
But once you get it where you want it, again, you just put your Teflon tape over, or I'm sorry, your Teflon sheet, and then you press it for the 30 seconds. And that is it. This is why I absolutely love my heat press, and I will always talk to you about my heat press. This was such a fun and inexpensive gift or craft to make. I believe both of these together were $12, so, you know, $6 isn't really too bad. So once it's finished, you just lift it up, take away your Teflon sheet, and then carefully and slowly peel back the plastic backing. Perfect. Oh my gosh, guys. I wish you could see this whole thing. This is so amazing. I love how this turned out. Um, I'm going to show you what it looks like. I maybe have one of my daughters try it on for me, but I love how this turned out. So stay tuned to see what it actually looks like in the end. I really love how these turned out, and I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. Please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button, and hit that yellow bell icon, and it will notify you of any new upcoming videos I am doing. Happy Mother's Day and happy crafting, everyone!